Hola chicos, soy Danes y estoy aquí acompañado de Shadow, la máquina más veloz de toda Italia. Um, acaban de ganar al Sarke 04 en una partida larguísima, más de 50 minutos nos han tenido esperando. Uh, you just won, yes. luckily. So, it, the, your rival was Salke. They are performing much better than in the beginning of the season, but that better to keep you 15 minutes 50 minutes uh, occupied and busy and no, don't knowing what to do uh, i think the main problem was uh, in our draft we didn't have enough engaged mm -hmm. and like they so they could just uh, just wave clear with Azir and i feel it was permanently so you know if we have elder bar or whatever Like they can just wait here forever, and like, and then we just flipped it and we won it. How was the communication in that moment? I think we were um, we were pretty tilted, like because we we weren't able to do anything. So all we had to do was just wait, and like uh, our team is not. They don't like waiting. They like we like fighting. So uh, we were pretty frustrated, but in the end, mm -hmm. we, we took the win. Oh. Is there anyone? That was specially tilted? Uh, I think Karzi was uh, very frustrated because we couldn't do anything. Even though we had all the advantage we wanted, all the drakes, all the barrels, we just couldn't do anything. It was very frustrating, even for me. Was Karzi flaming you guys? Uh, not really, but <laughs> like we all were fr really frustrated because it was supposed to be a like 30 minutes game and it just uh, like, yeah. it took like 50 to the end it, actually. Mm -hmm. And what do you think that you need to fix for this not to happen again? Um, I think we need more engaged, mm -hmm. definitely. With this comp, we had like very little engaged or just zero. Like it was just set that could just TP flank, but it was very easy. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll look to uh, draft more engage. Mm -hmm. Did you have time to talk to your coach uh, or what did he say? Were he like angry too or what? Uh, he was relieved first because <laughs> I mean, if At least we won the game, but yeah, he. I mean, the coaching staff said we need more engaged. Definitely. Yeah. So still, you are now in playoffs uh, position, yes. but it's not everything mm -hmm. uh, secured. You know, like yeah. Excel can get in, someone can get out. Uh, what do you think is going to happen from now? Because we have just like five matches left. And you are like there, but also not, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's pretty tough actually because uh, like fifth, sixth, seven, I think they're very close. They're only one game away. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just try our best and win every game, every game we can. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a gap between the top teams and the second top teams? I think there's definitely a gap between like this, the top seven and then the, the last three teams. Mm -hmm. We, you, didn't, you guys didn't see it today, but uh, there's there's a gap. Yeah, yeah. but I meant uh, between the playoffs teams. Like, is there a gap between Rogue, uh, sorry, uh, Origin, G2, Fnatic, and oh. Misfits, Mad Lions, and the other uh, one? Hmm. I don't think there is a, a very big gap because every like in playoffs everyone can can just win. Like, mm -hmm. you have a good day, you just win. Mm, I don't think there is a a gap. So do you ha don't you have any favorite? I mean, us. Yeah. <laughs> Apart. <laughs> Apart from us, I think uh, Fnatic are a very good team. And mm -hmm. like, it's either Fnatic or G2. Mm -hmm. They're probably still the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but uh, do you think that you can defeat in a best of five any team? Yeah, definitely. I think be best of fives were actually better than best of one because um, In best of one, you may have bad days and then you just lose. And like in best of five, we're very flexible, so we can adapt very well to how the first game goes. And we just, mm, I think we can win mm -hmm. against everyone. Have you ever practiced any kind of best of five for now, or you are just focusing in, you know, uh, this stage, best of one, we do it, we win, and then we will see? Uh, I think right now we're just focusing on best one since mm -hmm. like playoff is not secure yet, so we just try our best to win every game we can right now. Mm -hmm. If you get to playoffs and you have to play your first um, best of five in LEC, mm -hmm. how would you feel? To play. Would you be nervous or would you be like, oh my god, again? Uh, I think I'll be mostly excited to play mm -hmm. because I mean, I think best of fives are more fun to play and to watch 
because uh, you can see how team adapt to every game. And yeah, I'm mostly excited. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a bit nervous, I mean, like every game, but mostly excited, yeah. Are you still nervous when you play on stage? Uh, not as much as the first games, but yeah, I'm still nervous. Like, it's still, uh, it's still in front of a lot of people, you play on a stage, and yeah. It's so do, do you think that uh, the mistakes that, that you may do are because you're nervous or what? Uh, some of them, yes, but mo I mostly I don't do uh, any more like silly mistakes mm -hmm. because of nervousness. Mm -hmm. We have just known that uh, Budapest fi uh, finals uh, are not taking place in yeah. Budapest. They are coming here. Yeah. So in case you, you get to the finals, are you release, relieved that they, you're not going to be in front of uh, five, six, seven thousand people and you're going to be here? Uh, I don't think I'm relieved. Like, I think mm, what's special about the final is just you go, go live and you, you go into a big stage with the crowd. Like, uh, I think it, it will feel worse to play finals in, in, the, stu in the, the studio in Berlin. Mm -hmm. Oh, relieved a little bit yeah. because I know that um, I will be very nervous to play that, but uh, I think I will be very excited and mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a chance uh, that you need to take. Do you think that Riot made a good decision taking the, the finals here because of coronavirus? Uh, probably, yeah, because it's, it's still spreading all over Europe and uh, it's not safe for whoever goes mm -hmm. to watch or the players or the stuff. And if they do it here, and finally people cannot come because they closed it and this is going to be only the, the, the players. Yeah. Will it be like a disappointing final or for you? Like, mm, I, I, it, I need more salt, you know, like it needs something. I think it definitely feels uh, bad to not play in front of a crowd, but uh, I mean, it's still a final. Mm -hmm. If you win it, so it feels, very, it's gonna be feeling insane anyways. Mm -hmm. And from a player perspective, what do you think is going to happen with uh, MSI, for example? Mm, I'm not really sure. Mm, maybe they just play in studios in Berlin and play off here or just online like LPL. Mm -hmm. I don't think they will do like stages and live like like the last years, mm -hmm. because it's gonna be hard. Yeah, are you guys taking some any kind of safety measures in your gaming house or so to avoid uh, getting corona? Yeah. So, wash your hands <laughs> <laughs> before and after doing everything. But anything else? Mm, not right now, but I think we will definitely look into it if it mm -hmm. goes worse, if it keeps spreading. Yeah. Hopefully not, but yeah. Yeah, hopefully not. Yeah. So uh, my final question will be: If there is there anything that you want to say to the people who support you, Mad Lions, send a message to the fans and send a message about what's going to happen. What can we expect from you guys from now on uh, before playoffs and in the case that you get to playoffs? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you, like uh, all of my fans, and thank you guys for your support. Uh, what to accept from us? Uh, I think we will be we will be in playoff for sure, and hopefully we will not have a game like this anymore, <laughs> which <laughs> takes fifty minutes. Yeah. This, yeah, that's, that's it. All? Yeah, that's all. Thank you very much for being here. You. Y muchas gracias chicos por haber visto esta entrevista. Espero que os haya gustado y recordad que tenéis esta y muchas más en el canal de YouTube de la LVP. Hasta luego.